this this is just for general information. Uh, I, uh, the county has been notified that we are uh, a finalist for an economic development project. Uh, that project is down to three sites. Uh, North Carolina, which is Eagle County, is the site. South Carolina and Tennessee. Um, I want to, want to really underscore two, two things. One is um, you either compete or you lose in today's economic market, which we all know and understand. Uh, I want to brag on the commissioners by saying this number one, that we struggle like all get out to land in downtown. And finally, the commissioner said, well, we're going to do something creative and visionary and put that in front of a couple of hotels with a drop dead sunset date, see if we get a response. And all of a sudden, the two that we've been working on made decisions. Uh, so I, I think the fruit's in the pudding there. I'm saying that to say this, this project uh, has a, up toward a couple hundred jobs. The project also has the potential of a relocation of a distribution center. Uh, the project uh, pay scale, $1,000 above our average pay scale in the county. So it meets a lot of the things we like blue collar, manufacturing, uh, automotive relay, which we've trying to, been trying to attract that niche. Uh, I'm going to go down a separate road just a second. I don't know how many of you watched the news yesterday. Black and Decker wanting to relocate back into Charlotte I thought that was a pretty neat term. We use the term outsource so often. They're, they're using the term insource because Black and Decker are wanting to come back from Mexico to Charlotte for a project not nearly as large as the one I'm talking about. Average pay is Charlotte $45,000, Mecklenburg $45,000 a year. This, which is 10 above our county, this particular project, Black & Decker, and it's in print, so I'm not revealing anything confidentially. Uh, average pay was $29,000, $16,000 below. And it violated principles that they had set aside in their economic development incentive packages. I thought it was pretty amazing last night. Well, I'm looking at the news and listening to the news, and those commissioners that were interviewed and questioned, why will you consider this? And it was, quote, this is all about jobs. Our people need jobs. That's Mecklenburg County, Charlotte, saying that. So I, I, I think it really, it really sort of charged me last night when I heard all this because I had been to an economic development meeting, okay, our local board. And there was a, and I talked to our economic development people, and the number of economic development group projects are reducing in number because of the state reorganization and uncertainty in how they're going to about economic development. So the prospects are, are dropping while that uncertainty lies out there. And I didn't, you know as much as I do how I feel about economic development. But I, I think I would like to urge our board to go on record and say to them, hey, this is a project this county needs bad. I mean, it's multiple hundred jobs potentially. The pay is there. The 
benefits are there. It's a niche that we've been trying to work to get. You don't need to float the normal incentive package out there. This is too, this is too attractive for us to do that. Plus, as a board of commissioners saying, say to them if it's satisfactory to do so. This thing means a lot to this county. Our charge to you will be, you need to really examine the package very closely, be even more visionary than you have in the past, and see what our chances are. But we know without any question what South Carolina and Tennessee are going to do. We don't know the numbers, but we know they're going to be challenged. So uh, I, I just want our board to give our economic development people a little, uh, a, a, a vote, of, not a vote, a supportive uh, suggestion, change gears on this project. And let's, let's see if we can be a little bit more creative than we normally are, a little bit more visionary than we normally are. Because this 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 thing is is tailor made almost for our, our people. And we don't need we don't need to get out done with South Carolina or Tennessee on this deal. Yeah, well, Eddie, uh, that's, that's I, think, I think you probably have made this statement before and, and you probably make it a lot better than I can make it. But uh, the, the thing I always like to try to tell people don't seem like most of them tend to understand that any job that you can bring is whatever amount that is being paid is lot, lot, sometimes better than a lot of job people have. And the thing about it is, if you give them that incentive uh, to come, uh, if they choose not to come, you've got nothing in the future. If you do give them an incentive, whatever number of years, at least eventually, if they become good corporate citizens of the county, they will begin to pay it back. But if, if, you, if you mess around and don't give them the incentive that they need to make it, you, we have not, we've not made anything, and we've not lost it. But we will eventually. And I just don't understand why people don't understand that. Uh, have a big problem with uh, people wanting to quote put price tags on jobs when it's better working for them. I'll tell you that. And plus, if you get the benefits, I think. Well, I know there's been some question and concern about some, from some of you about well, what's going on economic development. Well, I'd like to say I can tell you everything. I can't always tell you everything because of confidentiality. But I felt like you needed to know about this. Yeah. Uh, just, just coming, I got. I don't think that we've got a standard pack. We don't. We've, we've chosen to step out of the box, and if the driving force, like you say, is what is tailored to our area, we need to step out of the box and go after it. As far as telling us all the details, the commissioners have decided in the past we don't need to know the details. We don't need to know the names. We don't know the specifics jobs and projects have been lost on the county police so that's why we chose several years ago that that's why you're charged with the job you got or you know development team got it the county managers got it what you informed us that it is a good job <coughs> it would be my recommendation that we go after it i'm like Commissioner Hawking, 100 percent nothing nothing but if we can land these people jobs a thousand dollars above average wage, that's going to put them in the thirty thousand dollar bracket above. It's going to put them benefit. That's better than McDonald. And like you say, with the city packs we've got, we grow it, and if they become good corporate citizens, that helps their retail, that helps everything else. And I'd say my suggestion, like Mr. Hawkins, is hey. Let's do what we need to do if we can land it. Well, I think yeah. the county manager and I need to want to convey that word over to the people who are leading part of this charge. Any other comments? 
I think our economic development group has done a good job of putting packages, uh, creative packages together of the value of our community and the, 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 the life in the community college and the training programs and the things that they can bring to put in, to put in those packages that has brought them so many new businesses, businesses and industries. From what I'm hearing from this discussion is that I, I think we're all in agreement that we we want to do everything we can to do to attract quality jobs here and um, if it means being aggressive then we need to be aggressive on them. We've got a lot of great employers in our county. Not not knocking the McDonald jobs. Those are good well, jobs too. I know what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. I totally hey, understand what you're saying. Me and my grandkids go to that My first job was was uh, the Burger King here in Shelby, so I can put that in the band too. It's good Anyway, there's nothing else on that. If we, uh, we've we only got one item left, but that's our, that's our goal discussion. So how long do y'all feel comfortable with the uh, break?